Do you know the difference between a Facebook dark post and a Facebook boosted post? Well, in today's video, we're going to go over the differences between a Facebook boosted post and a Facebook ad or a Facebook dark post. And I'm going to show you why you shouldn't be boosting your Facebook posts. So to get into things, the biggest difference uh, from boosting a post and an actual Facebook ad or, or a Facebook dark post would be the objectives that you can apply to a Facebook ad that you cannot apply to a boosted post. Essentially, when you're boosting a post, you're taking the shotgun, shotgun approach, right? You're, you're essentially blasting out this ad so that everybody can see it and you're not telling Facebook what you want it to accomplish. With a Facebook ad, we can go in and say, hey, we want video views or we want comments, likes, and shares or we want people to go to this website or we want people to go into Facebook Messenger. With a boosted post, you're not telling them that. So you can, you can get into audience targeting a little bit. You can go into the budget. You can do some of those things, but you're not telling Facebook exactly what you want to accomplish. So your end goal of getting leads, which is probably what you're going to want to do, or growing an audience of some sort, uh, you're not going to accomplish that, right? So let's dive into Facebook and just see what I'm talking about here. So I'm on my Facebook business page, and so I have this post that I posted the other day. And so if I wanted to boost this post, I would obviously go to my page, and there's this uh, blue post button here. Uh, so we would boost this post and come in here, and what we can say um, right here would be, you know, we're, we're looking at our audience, right? Um, and so uh, for this, let's get more messages because uh, I have a, a send message button here. You can come in here and change this, basically get more views or get more messages. And that's really the only option that Facebook allows here. Uh, so if I scroll down here, um, I can go in and edit the audience. Um, I can make this a little bit more specific. I can use custom audiences. Uh, I can go and change the, the audience that I'm that I'm going to um, that I'm going to target essentially, right? And then I can go into the budget. Um, the budget, you know, you can do daily budget, um, and then you put that for a length of time or on an end date. Um, Facebook really just wants this to be as easy as possible for their end user to create an ad. That's the reason that boosting a post lives. That's the reason that it exists. However, like I, like I said earlier, it's just not the best way to go in and tell Facebook exactly what we want, right? Because if we had a link with a website here uh, and I wanted them to go to a, uh, a website, I cannot necessarily say I want a traffic or I, or I want that kind of thing. So it really limits you on what, you're, what you can do. You can go and edit placements. You can do... Uh, some audience targeting, you can choose the budget, you can add your Facebook pixel, uh, you can choose your ad account, and then you would just choose boost post. Uh, but what, I, what, if, what if we could go into Facebook Ads Manager and select exactly what we want to do, right? So if we click on create here, we can see all of the objectives that Facebook gives us. So just a lot more options and we can tell Facebook exactly what we want to accomplish with our ad. So if we wanted to do messages, we could do that and we can customize it a little bit using mini chat and do a JSON ad and shoot them exactly what we want them to see in Messenger from the ad that I just had. And you can't necessarily do that uh, within a boosted post, right? You can't go in and do a JSON ad. If you're wondering what that is, I'll link that uh, somewhere around this video in the description or in a card if you want to do a messenger ad properly. Uh, but other things that you can do, you can do lead generation. So if you want to do a lead form uh, or to acquire name, email, phone number, you could do a lead generation from that. If you wanted to do video views, you would do engagement. If you want more likes, comments, and shares on that post, you would do a page post engagement here as well, right? So you would do post engagement, page likes, event responses. If you wanted video views, you would come in here and choose that. If you have a landing page or a website and you wanted to acquire leads there, you would use conversions. 
If you want traffic, you would send them there. So in this case, uh, what we're going to do is, let's say engagement. You want the most amount of likes, comments, and shares on your ad. So we would choose engagement here, and we're gonna do post engagement, right? Because we don't want page likes or event responses. So we're gonna do, um, I call this PPE, page post engagement, so page post engagement. And then from here, you know, the um, we would call this example, you would call it what it is. So page post engagement. And then the date is the 7th. Um, so we would continue here and we can go into the audience. You can do this within a boosted post as well. So I'm not going to go any too far in depth here. Uh, but then under the identity, what you can do <clears throat> is if you want to create a new ad, you can totally do that. Um, but if you're wanting to boost that post, so on your Facebook page, you have a post that you want to get more likes, comments, and shares on, right? If, if I wanted to quote unquote boost this post or use this post as an ad, I would not boost it. I would come into Facebook ads, do page post engagement like I showed you, and then I would use an existing post, and then I would select that post, right? So I would come here, and then I would choose that exact post. So the same post that I have on my business page right here, I can use within Facebook Ads Manager and continue with that as my ad, right? So if you wanted to do, say I, I did have a link here, I could go back to the objective and send traffic to that link, or I could use a conversions campaign to acquire leads and track that through Facebook. That's something that you can't do with a boosted post, right? Um, so just make sure that you are aware of your options and make sure that you're using your money wisely because if you're just using a boosted post, you're using a shotgun approach to your Facebook ads and we want a lasered dialed in approach. We want to tell Facebook exactly what we want to accomplish and then go accomplish that with our Facebook ads. Guys, if you have any questions on that, comment in the comments below. Uh, happy to help you guys answer any of those questions. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more real estate, and mortgage related marketing content, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell so that you get notified uh, when I create new videos. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.